Hi everyone! Oh my god, October went by so fast. I, I'm just stoked. I don't know what, how, how, when. Oh, but it's November, so I wanted to do a favorite video. And let's get into it because I have quite a few things. I mean, it's not a huge pile, but it's still a pile. So, yeah. First thing I want to start off with is skincare. And I've been using this, which is the Biofaza. Um, I believe it's Serbian or something. Uh, lifted high hydrants antioxidant fluid fluid with parsley borage, borage and vitamin E. And my skin has been loving it. I've been the most consistent I've ever been with a face cream. Sorry, what's with my voice? The most consistent I've ever been with a face cream has been with this. I use it every day. I've had it I believe for the whole, the whole of October and I'm because it has a glass pump jar thing I still have this much I use it every day and I've used one one third of it and it's really good my skin loves it it's great for using it in the morning to put under your foundation or under your primer because it smells really great because it has like parsley in it and it just wakes you up and it smells so fresh and natural but on the other hand it's great to use it at night because it's just a calming scent and it calms you down if you need it but I mean I just love it I love the scent I love everything about this and I'm just stoked I, I'm probably gonna go out and try some more stuff from this brand because I love it so yeah, that's for skincare. Um, another skincare thing that I have is Vaseline. I know I am like so late to this bandwagon because, dear God, I've even seen many sizes of this in when I was in London, and I I'm quite pissed that I didn't get it then. But I'm happy I got it now because this is a holy grail. Oh my God, I love my lips get so dry I was like last year um, I was even quite I mean, afraid I didn't want to wear a lipstick because when I wore it my lips would get so chapped it was horrible and they started bleeding and uh, just they don't heal and it's just the also my hands this TMI <laughs> and they were also like little scars everywhere and it would burn if I would like wash them and stuff because I also wash my hands a lot and yes this is a life-saving thing if you're one of those three people in the world that were like me and haven't tried this yet this is really good I this a whole pot it's really cheap it's like I've, I've kind of dug a hole in it, you can't see that probably, but um, I use it every day. I think I forgot two days, but also with the hand, with the face cream. I've been so consistent with this because it really works. And it's like, whoa, three um, euros and a half or 3.75 for a jar of this that will probably last you half a year or like for the whole year, depending on how much you put on. I mean, I use it on my lips and on my hands, and there's like a dent in it, but it's not like humongous, or I don't know. It's huge, and it's, I mean, yeah, it's around three pounds, and amazing. Great. What did I just do? Okay, next two things are things that I bought when I was in London, but haven't really used much until lately. So the first is the Sleek Blush by 3 blusher, which you will see, I'm going to say will see because I'm planning on posting this thing before the other one, in my Halsey Concert makeup look. Uh, so I hope you're excited for that, but I've used that and I've told you about it. It's a Blush by 3 palette which has Crochet, Jupour and Chantilly. Um, and it's the the because there's like two or three I think blush by three it's the lace three six seven or three hundred and sixty seven palette and it's this oh my god the colors are so great I think because I have very fair skin that kind of goes towards 
the orange side, not that much the pink side. Uh, I kind of believe that orange tones look good on me. I don't know, like the lipstick I'm wearing today, how does it look? So I got this one and I am obsessed. The thing I would use most days is the... Jesus, I don't want to blind you. Okay, it's the first one, which is Chantilly, and mixed with a little bit of Jupou. If it's, I mean, if it's French, if it's Italian, it's not red like that, so I'm sorry. Um, so these two ones are matte, the uh, Chantilly and Crochet, Crochet, Crochet are matte colors. This one's like fuchsia pink and this is orange, like really, really orange, like cap of Rimmel concealer orange, it's orange. And this one, this one, like this one in the middle, this one in the middle is shimmery and I would use every day practically, I use a combination of the uh, Chantilly and the Jupo. Um So the matte one, orange one and the red sparkly one and I love it. It's this, these blushes are so so good. I I mean when I started using blush, you can see that in my favorite favorites, I would just get like one this and I would use that for the whole like half a year and then I got another Catrice blush and this is just this is amazing and it's so thin you can easily pack it and take it with you. Just amazing. Another thing I got in London which you will also see in my Holy Makeup Look video thing for the concert is the Revolution Makeup Revolution um, London Ultra Eyeshadows Eyeshadow Palette and it has also a gold case which is not the case, it's like the um, cardboard thing for it so I'm. this has a huge mirror so okay. These are like 32 gorgeous eyeshadows. They are beautiful, really. Um, so you have some matte ones, like this one is matte, this one is matte, this one is matte, and this one is matte. Otherwise, they are shimmery. They're not ridiculously sparkly, so you'll be left out with hundreds of thousands of like just chunks of glitter on your face. They are beautifully sparkled and shimmery. And you have neutral brown, brown shades, and then you have pinky shades, and then you have mauvey shades, and dark brown, and you have some kind of gray, and then black. And this is amazing. It's not as heavy as you would think it is, it's because it's quite huge. It's, uh, I think it's lighter than the Naked palette, and I think it's an excellent dupe. Revolution palette, it's not expensive. This was eight pounds. Like that's 10 euros, 12. For 32 colors that last so, so long and are so beautiful. I am been loving this. And probably I will, if I get the chance, shoot a autumnal makeup look. But I haven't been using eyeshadow that much because I'm, I'm in university and I have to wake up at 6.30, so. I am very a very slow person in the morning. I'm a very slow person every day, everywhere. So I just don't have time to use this, but I hopefully will kind of get into my morning routine and start using eyeshadow for uni as well because I love these colors. And um, am I gonna blind you? They come with a gigantic hi with a gigantic mirror which is a real mirror it doesn't have like a crappy plastic thing it's a real mirror and it's huge and i love it because i use this one and the sleep also has a real mirror real mirror which is great and i use them when i do my like eyebrows or eyelashes when i turn to the lights so love oh actually that's not that much i mean this video is also already 15 minutes long so yeah Next thing is the Rimmel London Wake Me Up Concealer. This, what's the most? This has been amazing. Um, my good friend Sarah, who is a blogger, um, I will link her blog down below. She is amazing. 
Uh, she sent this to me because I was like, can you maybe get me this? Because it's so... I've heard so much about it. And I've only started properly using it now that I've gone to university because... I mean, concealer, it's kind of like... You keep it in your makeup bag or somewhere and... It's great for when you're in the morning, you're like, oh, spots, and I already put foundation on, I don't want to put more foundation on. This is the most amazing thing. It has great coverage. I have some spotty things on my forehead, and I've just been nodding this over, and it has made the situation look so much better in pictures, and probably, hopefully, in video as well. I love this, and it's amazing. So, you've probably heard a lot about this already, so I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. I am, oh dear god, I've dropped my lipstick. I almost knocked over my humongous palette with the gigantic mirror and my cream. The last thing I have is, you see, like the necklaces I have today. This, this, this one, again, Jesus. This one is from Mason Scotch or Maison Scotch. I don't know what's correct. I've been juggling that option for so long. I mean, people say Mason Scotch, but I mean, I just don't know. So this one is from H&M and it has a little sun, a little eye and a little uh, sparkly bit. And it came in a pack of three. And I believe it came with a choker that's really... I'm gonna be tacky. My ringtone there just reminded me of another favorite I need to share with you. But first off, let's finish this. The chokers that were really popular, like in the 90s, the the elastic -y bits that look like lace. So one brown one of those, this one and this one, or I have I bought two packs. That's why I'm not sure. But this is also a choker on like a suede. It's not a suede. It's fake. Strand and it has a little charm on it and I've been loving this. I've been loving the like the soft grunge style and I just think it's really cute. So yes, and they were for H from H&M and they were really cheap. So I mean I got two packets because I don't need them, but I love them. Oh god, dear god. Okay, and the last thing which my phone just reminded me of is oh my god, am I gonna get copyrighted for that? Oh, I'm gonna cut out, but like, my phone just rang, and um, I maybe put just a little bit of it in, so you can hear what it is. Please don't kill me, Troy. I've been loving, loving, loving Blue Neighborhood by Troy Sivan. I mean, the Blue Neighborhood isn't out yet, but you get what I mean. Okay, it's amazing, and it's like, I've been listening to Wild every day. Time I go outside that I need to put my headphones need that I put my headphones in and I love 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 talking down and oh my god I'm just so obsessed oh and I like instantly got wild and said it as my film because it's amazing and I really really like it so yes um, the last thing that I've been loving is here and I will almost forgot about it um, oh it's this it's filled full now so yeah this is my uni bag and I'm gonna put it down because it's really heavy but I'm probably gonna do a what's in my bag at some point um but yes I have been loving my bag it's gigantic and it doesn't fit all my stuff in it but because I need to carry books as well so I have a separate bag for that but it fits my iPad my phone my wallet another a pencil case if I need to have everything in my bag um, my planner, just general water stuff that you would need, and I can also chuck my scarf and stuff into it when I'm at uni. But I'm mostly freezing at uni, so I usually end up wearing everything that I wore outside. So yeah, these have been my favorites, and I need to go clean now because I haven't realized it's like uh, 4 p.m. and uh, I need to clean stuff because, yeah, I need to study. I hopefully will sh get to shoot another video today or not. I haven't even eaten lunch. Well, yes, this is how my planning is going. I need to, like, start doing stuff. So, yeah. That's it. 
thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully we'll see you in my next video. Please subscribe here and let me know what you think and what were your favorites for October or what you love using at the moment in the comments down below or on any of my social medias and the links will also be in the description box. So yeah, love you so much and see you later hopefully. Bye!